Alright, so this is my review of the Roku 2. As you can see, it's the XS, so top of the line model. As you can see, very tiny box. Um, very nice looking, very fancy. Um, in the back here, we have uh, power. Um, we have Ethernet cable. Then they have a special um, AV out cable. I don't think you can really buy it anywhere else. Micro SD card. HDMI on the back here. On the side we have a nice little USB port. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Rogue 2 form factor. Uh, essentially it's pretty simple. I bought an HDMI cord and get one. Don't buy one in like a Best Buy. Buy it on Amazon. A few bucks. Um, and it gets pretty good, at least mine, gets uh, pretty good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and then we'll take a look at uh, once it starts up. As you can see when it starts up it has a nice uh, little Roku um, logo there, bouncing up and down. It takes a little while to start originally, um, but they do say it takes very little electricity. Um, I think they say less than a nightlight. Um, so I usually just leave it on 24-7. Alright, and now that Netflix is powered on, it's pretty simple. This is your list of channels, and you can click on any channel and it will open up um, has the time up top uh, and this is pretty much standard layout it has just a, a list of channels inside or a list of video sources audio sources inside um, you can command the settings as well um, a lot of these you can install from your browser um, you can send it to the actual Netflix or the actual um, Roku device. We also have a channel store uh, where you can browse channels and install them from the device itself. Now a little bit about the remote. The remote's pretty standard. has home button, back button, directional arrows. Um, this back arrow is like, I think it goes back 15 seconds, the OK button. Star button is, I think, just added to the premium ones. That are or to the um, Roku 2's I believe. That just is another options menu. Um, then you have back, um, play, forward. Uh, it's a Bluetooth remote and it does, uh, I believe it's accelerometer in there uh, so you can play Angry Birds which is um, comes with the Roku 2 XS I believe. Channel store, pretty simple. Um, you can go through the top paid games, music, etc., and it will click on one and it'll add it. So let's just add the USB player, even though I don't really use the USB player. Um, the USB, you have to see what uh, formats it supports. I think it's uh, um, JPEG, I think. Um, also supports uh, MKV, I believe, and uh, not AVI. I think MP4 it also checks. So, and if you ever install channels from your browser uh, and you need to force them to your um, Roku, enter the channel store and exit the channel store, and that will push it to the Roku. So my favorite channel is Revision 3 that has a lot of internet television um, for learning. It's a lot of sort of uh, technology podcasts and stuff. Uh, I haven't used Crackle yet, but it's movies on demand. Flickster is very nice if you're looking to see if what movie you want. Roku Newscast, I believe that has like 60 minutes, stuff like that. Break.tv, small clips, humor clips. Uh, Vimeo, um, kind of like YouTube, pretty much. Um, one Notably, one of the channels not on Roku is YouTube. So hopefully they get that sometime soon. Meatfly Gaming, kind of nice. Uh, TED, obviously very nice. Um, this one has a few good movies. Um, these are some channels I'll experience. Picasso, oh, you can apparently get your Picasso pictures on there. It seems to work pretty well for me when I tried it. Facebook, I thought it'd be like a news stream. It's just photos and videos like it says. So, Coldcast, it has other TV channels. Mediafly, more Mediafly. Yep, Amazon has some video. I do a lot of, um, I bought a lot of stuff on Amazon, so that's nice. Weather Channel, Twit, obviously. Netflix, and then they have BBC. This is their actual channel, um, international channel. Uh, you can play, and uh, it's just like you had TV, but we have 
some sort of cable I guess. I didn't actually pay for any cable channels but it seems to work so um, so I don't really use those channels. Um, C9 channel, Pandora obviously, MOG which actually needs to be deleted because it's apparently only something you have to pay for so you have a trial but then you have to pay for it so um, I haven't tried Soma FM, which is the next channel. Nowhere TV, you can grab that. That has a ton of different clips from around the uh, around the web and um, on TV. CNET, obvious. Fox News, that works from like nine to three. Oh well, haven't really watched that. IPD, IPTV, my way has that's a way you can set it up specifically to browse um, and watch stuff over the internet. But I haven't really worked much with that. This is. Um, Gabby personal media channel. That's really the best way to stream stuff from your PC. You have to install something. It's for um, I think I think just Windows. But once you install it, you can go ahead and you can browse your servers, and you can play videos. And let's see, this is coming from my um, PC in the other room. It does take a little while to get going and. The resume function doesn't work quite the greatest, um, but it'll let you know. This is um, the Gabby Beta channel, so it obviously has some of the kinks that need to be worked out. But um, you'll notice it'll say the initialization process. This is definitely a lot longer wait than if you were streaming something straight offline, but it is transcoding on the fly because, as far as I know, it works with any video format I have thrown at it so far. So, and after. Rather lengthy wait comes back up. This is being streamed from my PC. Yeah, the audio obviously doesn't sound great, but it didn't sound great in the video to begin with. We were going to run it with audio, so. And that's Gabby Beta, and that was a .mov file that it was running. You can also do images as well. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have any images. I guess. No, I do have some images in here. I guess. There you go. There is a nice image of me in Cancun. That's right, I was in Cancun. Yeah. And then some hilarious, see, the size isn't <laughs> exactly right. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't really played around. I don't really need to watch many images on my PC, but. So that's that. Um, and it, it works pretty well. So Gabby Beta, if you want to stream stuff from your PC. I hope they do release a Linux client because that's what I prefer to use. Khan Academy does a few learning things. I haven't used that much. Um, the Gym Box, Workouts, Crunchyroll, Anime and Drama, Anime TV, Money Network, Angry Birds, a bunch of Daily Motion, then the USB player that we just installed. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Roku 2. It works pretty well. I did have to run cable. Uh, directly to it because the wireless I have wireless N, but uh, even with wireless N, it does have to buffer sometimes. So it's just best to use a straight connection to the back of the Roku player. Um, and so to recap, um, Roku is a good device. Uh, it was between they dropped the Google one of the Google TVs to $99 and I was very very tempted to get that just because it has a browser. Roku doesn't have a browser and there's no real plans on getting it a browser. It's a very very light device hardware wise. It can't really do much. Um, and also the WD TV was also $100. It was a very very hard choice. Um, if, the, if the Google TV hadn't dropped price it would have not even come on the mark it would have been on my radar but uh as it was uh i chose the roku just because it's simple it's easy to use and it, it's so far it's been it's been very dependable